Welcome to the world of FPV, where you combine a drone and these FPV goggles for an immersive flight experience that allows you to get some incredibly unique perspectives. Matt from BNH here, and in this video, we'll be diving into the benefits of using a DJI drone such as the new Avada as you explore FPV, exactly how to get started with FPV, and then we'll get you ready for your first flight. Let's jump right in. There are multiple ways to fly FPV, whether you're flying a custom-built drone or a DJI drone like the DJI FPV or Avada, both of which have their place. Fortunately for beginners, DJI provides multiple safety features that allow you to get into the hobby without much of a learning curve. Firstly, Avada has multiple flight modes like normal mode and sport that allow you to fly the drone just like any other GPS drone. This makes it super easy to land as you just switch to one of the other modes from the manual mode and bring the drone in like any other drone. Secondly, Avada and FPV both have an emergency brake which is great for beginners flying in manual and become disoriented. Engaging the emergency brake will bring the drone to a stop and allow it to re-level itself. Additionally, Avada is equipped with DJI's AirSense technology which senses objects beneath the drone. Finally, both drones have return to home functions, which will bring the drone back to you should you lose signal. These safety features make it a great drone to start your exploration into FPV. You probably just got your FPV drone, or at least you're looking into getting one and you're just ready to fly. But first and foremost, if you're planning to fly in full manual or acro mode, then you'll need to start off in a simulator to help you get your bearings. When it comes to simulators, you have multiple options. DJI's FPV drones come with their own proprietary simulator, which allow you to use their goggles and controllers for the best simulation. Other flight options include Liftoff and Velocidrone, which will allow you to hook up your controller to your computer for the best effect. Practice in the simulator for as long as you can before getting started with the drone. Keep in mind that crashes in the simulator could have been real crashes, so again, definitely get your practice in. Thankfully, Cinewhoop drones and drones with thick propeller guards like the Avada will be much more forgiving. But the more practice you get, the better off you'll be. The simulator will get you used to using the goggles, which may cause some vertigo at first, but rest assured that this will go away in time. Aim to avoid moving your head too much with the goggles. The simulator will also get used to maneuvering the drone, which if you've never flown manually before, it's quite a different feel. Now it's time to fly. Be sure your drone is properly registered with the FAA and any other regulations are fulfilled so that you're properly following the law when you fly. Note that currently the FAA requires both recreational and commercial operators to pass their respective exams. The FAA also requires the use of a visual observer for FPV flight missions to maintain the line of sight of the drone, which our crew behind the camera will be fulfilling in our flights today. So you'll want to find an open field, preferably with little to no people around and free of any airspace or other regulations preventing you from flying there. DJI's app will illustrate this on the bottom left. You can also check apps like AirMap and Aloft for drone laws where you're looking to fly. Be sure to let the drone gather the required GPS connection to successfully mark its home point. This is crucial. When it comes to manual mode, you'll need DJI's FPV remote controller too. There are two main ways to use the controller, either by pinching the sticks or by using your thumb. Many FPV flyers have reported more accuracy when pinching the sticks. With these DJI drones, you can take off in normal mode and fly it around a bit just to get used to the feel with the goggles on. When you're ready and away from any objects and obstructions, switch it into manual mode. If this is your first time flying in manual mode, you may want to remain in a seated position at first. Your first flight should just be a few different loops around a field, and when you feel comfortable, you can maybe try flying through some wide open obstacles. When you're feeling really, 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 really brave, you can raise your altitude and try a simple flip. Now, these drones have a roll lock which will need to be disabled to actually do any kind of flips. Essentially, what you're looking for when you do a flip is to return to the same horizon line once you complete the flip. Also, when you're doing a flip, you'll need to disengage the throttle for a second as you complete the flip. So now that we've gotten the absolute intro into FPV out of the way, here are some specific pointers to keep in mind as you navigate this new landscape. Number one, always be aware of where the horizon is. Number two, sit down when necessary. Number three, know the difference between cinematic FPV and freestyle FPV. Number four, experiment when you're just beginning with pinching the sticks versus using your thumbs. 
Now that you've learned how to get going with flying FPV, you're prepped to get some awesome shots and have a great time doing so. If you have any questions on flying FPV, drop those in the comments down below. We would love to see it. Also, what do you think of the new DJI Avada? Let us know in the comments as well. My name is Matt, and thanks for watching.